Oh iya, bisa mau. Good evening. It's a late start again from Tough Souls. Today we're going to do uh, Seltna Sagat. It is Roscommon's highest uh, point, the county top of Roscommon. It is an absolutely shameful 412 meters tall. And it's not even a peak. I almost said peak, but it's not. It's like a slope. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's it's hilarious. The, the border between Sligo and Roscommon and then like there's like five meters over and then there's the peak uh, or the, the county high point anyway um, in an effort to make an extremely short mountain uh, more fun there is a way to walk it just going directly along the miners way which is what we're going to do now we've picked a really nice stretch of the miners way and we're just going to walk like three or four kilometers along it if that um, up to the peak directly to the top uh, we're going to laugh at how insignificant the high point is and then we're going to turn around walk back the really nice stretch of the miners way and have a really nice day of it so that's the plan um we actually managed to pick a really nice day to do this um which is good i will follow the trail like another we don't know say 20 meters yeah because it could be on any of these little like tiny hill bits i'll grab them up there and we'll see yeah cool yeah So a bit of searching around now for the uh, actual high point because this is one of only two county tops that are on a slope. Uh, they're not like a peak or anything like that. They have actually a prominence of zero, which means that they don't stick out at all. So there's a tiny little cairn on top of it somewhere, which is the like which demarcates the high point, and it is hard to find, especially in a wind farm because they like. You know, there are piles of gravel and stuff that are probably over the actual high point. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. It's there somewhere? Still an incredible view from up here though. Yeah, still a good view. Right Ellie? That's another high point completed. Um, that was really enjoyable actually. It's probably the least breathtaking um, high point that we'll get to in terms of the high point is just like a pile of rocks in on like a slope yeah. in which all other angles are higher than it is basically. Um, the views were great. The views it's, are really it's good. The, yeah. the, the literal spot that we're yeah. doing. Yeah, the, the actual point that you get to that is the high point is just a bit like, yeah, cool, I guess. Um, but for that reason, we took this kind of less uh, direct route. 
There's a very direct route that you can take, which basically you just walk along access roads to the wind farm. And um, I mean, we, we definitely felt that that would be quite boring. Um, I'm quite glad to have done this slightly longer, slightly more adventurous route along the Miner's Way. Um, because that stretch of trail is really good. Like, yeah. it's completely off-road the whole way up. Yeah. And then, like, okay, it's definitely quite boggy and muddy. I wouldn't do it in the rain. Mm. Um, but, like, it's just a really nice stretch of trail the whole way. Um, and, yeah, and then you just get there to yeah. the peak. It basically leads you directly to the peak. Yeah. Peak. To the point. To the, yeah, to the location. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the views are nice. There is a wind farm there. So, uh, in some cases, you don't really want to look upwards because it's a bit scary. Um, but the views are nice, you know, I don't want to say despite the wind farm, but yeah, yeah. despite the wind farm, the views are quite nice. Um, and, yeah. Yeah, I, I think with several of the county high points, um, they do take, like, most of the listed routes up are most obvious slash shortest. And we're not necessarily there to get a speed record, so yeah. taking some beautiful routes was yeah. definitely more appealing to us. Yeah, for sure. And it was, for me at least, it was really nice to revisit a bit of the Miner's Way. Mm. I've been saying it's the best trail for such a long time, and it's always good when I do a bit of it and I think, oh yeah, this is actually really good, <laughs> rather than, oh no, <laughs> have I been wrong <laughs> this entire time? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, Footwear, I am wearing just like trail shoes um, that have gone past their waterproofing. As I said, boggy, don't do it in the rain, I wouldn't think. Yeah. Uh, try and get it on a day when the visibility is good, because I think if the visibility is quite poor, you're actually going to have quite a hard time getting up that way. Or you're going to have a hard time finding the... You're going to have an impossible <laughs> time. We literally, we got to the top and we bypassed the high point easily. And then we were like, no, we've definitely gone past it. We need to go back. Uh, we just like we went to a higher point and looked down at where the cairn was um yeah, yeah so yeah. Uh, that's just kind of how it is um but yeah. I, I go to high point all the same yeah cool well, yeah 400 been... what did we say 413 12 412 412 meters yeah. um yeah so there we go cool that's the easiest one done yeah there are lots of midges there's too many midges we're so gonna go home now I bye <laughs>